Hey guys, Anton's the man here with my new live stream game. <laughs> we finally wrapped up Mass Effect, so we're going to move on to something else. And after talking to some of my fans, they said I should, you know, start into Until Dawn next. I really don't know anything about this game other than it's a scary horror game that, you know, you kind of have to make choices. <clears throat> And hope for the best. <laughs> and I, I really like those type of games, so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm also trying something new with the camera. I figured since it's a scarier game, you'd guys want to see my face a bit more. <laughs> so um, let me know what you think of the new setting and the new game. And I guess we just better get started, start having fun. It may be a bit of a short stream today, but that's just how it goes during work days. So, without further ado, let's get into it. story. One of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Oh, I'll try. I will certainly try. Lovely. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. <sighs> Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's husband. been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <laughs> just because you've class president. Like, oh my god, I can't believe this. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. weekend Josh hello oh do I finally have control so classic in the middle of nowhere teens having fun in a log cabin and pro um, a little prank on one of them is about to go bad I guess <laughs> anyways it's gonna probably take me a while to remember everyone's name, unfortunately. So I may miss out on certain details. Tutorial. Press R2 to pick up a note. Alright. And then you can move it with the stick to inspect it. Anna, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, wrong voice for Mike. 
<laughs> Mike, is it probably not a sorority girl? Oh, nice winky face at the end. And three kisses. Oh my Mwah. god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. So Hannah's my sister. Time. Intervention time. Okay, these guys are passed out. Drunk. Drunk as a skunk. We got some nice couches. Well furnished. A roaring fireplace. An amazing looking dining room from what I see so far. Oh, this is a pretty nice place they got. I wonder if it's owned by someone or are they just renting it out? It's a two-way fireplace. Interesting. How about you, buddy? You knocked out too? Use the right stick to look around. Yeah. Objects glitter. I get it. Yes, pick up the bottle. Jeremiah Crag. Is that the only way I can look at it? Apparently. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. So I got a sister and a brother. There's my sister. That's Mike. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Eh. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. She's taking your shirt off. What? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Hannah. Is that a Hannah. selfie Hannah. stick? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, Just a stupid prank. Uh. Hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? W wasn't Hannah. she in on it too? <laughs> Lights outside. Um, yo, Josh. Josh, Josh, fuck. Well, that sucks. Guys, there's someone outside. Why are you freaking out? What if it's just the cops or something? Just checking in what's going Anna! on. What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What, did she run outside? What did you do? We just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Wow. Hannah! Hannah! This is bad. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct action. Oh, oh great. Um, safe. No need being reckless. Follow the noise. Actually, I probably should have followed the footprints. <laughs> Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Now who knows whose footprints I'm following. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's a lot of interaction in this game. Well, I got a flashlight. The footprints are gone, unfortunately. I guess we didn't follow them that well. We can move the flashlight around. Hannah? 
Where are you, sister? I don't even know why we need a light. It's not that dark out here. Maybe it's because I set the brightness too high, though, with my game setting. Hello? Hannah, there's scary music playing outside for some reason. Well, looks like I found a dead end. I just couldn't help but be curious what was over there. So. Is there any way to move faster? Not that I know of. That was a little freaky. Walk faster. Yes, please. A nice brisk pace. Hello? J just to show Hello? some urgency. Some real direction. What we got here? A wooden figure. Is now really the time to be looking at stuff like this? Oh, shoot. It's a death totem. The heck? An indigenous tribe believed that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Wow. <laughs> Was not expecting something like this in the game. Mystery man. That's a little spoilery. Hmm. Interesting. Fire? What the hell was that? Why fire? Someone call 911. Get the fire department out of here. Hannah. Out here, rather. Hello? Well, thank God we found her. Hannah! Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Um, you're dumb for running out here. Hannah? You didn't have to run this far out. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, there goes our phone. up to that. <laughs> I wasn't gonna drop my sister. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have. Now we're both dead. <laughs> Again, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. 
You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. You do. I think Sometimes. I've made a terrible decision Sometimes so far. Things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? <laughs> All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hmm. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, it feels uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The blurriness? I don't know. If it is something you can't see, then why does it make you feel... Because the picture's blurry, dude. I mean, is there something in the house? It's... No, it's not there. It's probably the uh, field. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? Can it be in the field? Um, yeah, it's probably in the field, sure, whatever. Wow. Let's see, and is this threat human, or is there some other fear that you have that you would like to talk to me about? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> sure, it's human. So you think there's a person in this field that is a threat to you? Sure. That's quite intriguing. Ah, oh, well, perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session. You're I'm afraid. You're creepy too, Doc. We've run out of time. Who am I? <laughs> am I literally playing myself? <laughs> I guess I am. He practically tore down the fourth wall. we make some better choices in the future.
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. Where? I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. So and much. That, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. And getting so drunk. I really drunk. want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that mm -hmm. we'll never forget for... For the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you didn't wake up, you bum. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Woo! Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Nothing like partying to celebrate the anniversary of tragic missing people. After we treated them so horribly. Oh, nice. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Consider... Adventurous. Diligent. Alright. I am Sam. Sam, I am. Hello? Someone there? Path to the cable car station. 2102, which is 9 o'clock. How many times is this stupid tutorial going to keep coming up? I get it. I can use the stick to look. I can use the trigger to grab. I can use the stick after grabbing to look. I get it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope the tutorial eventually stops. The gate's busted. Climb over. Chris. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Hmm. What do we have here? Yo, how do I get there again? Oh, 
Why would he print out an email? Climb over. Where? Right here? Oh, the wall over here. Do it, Sam. You're adventurous. Do it quick, because you're excited. Uh, climb? Why would you jump? So creepy. Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> That's pretty easy. If you're unsure what to do next, your current objective with R1. Okay. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicates the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold the tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered vision to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Oh, great. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Pick a totem up and turn it to reveal a colored butterfly. Premonition. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't even get to read it all. Okay, totem. What you got? What? What does that tell me? All I saw was a bird and a dude just sitting there by a tree. Guidance. What does that guide me to do? Hide behind a tree? Stupid visions. Should I just go straight for the sign? It's over here. There's stuff here too. Chris, you here? I don't want to miss out on stuff. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? <laughs> Hello. What do we have here? I think I missed out on stuff, guys. Um, Snoop. Aha! Look who it is. <laughs> he knows it. Chris. A crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, methodical. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. Well, why'd you just leave your bag there, dum dum? Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Wait. Really? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. 
well, have fun. I'm gonna look over here now. <laughs> Wonder if he was in here. Oh, now it's locked. That's kind of weird. What's this? The past is beyond our control. Hey, he came back for me. <laughs> All came flooding back. Here goes fast. Ta-da! Ta-da! What? Red, right? Yeah. Come on. Look what are we looking at? Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the oh, base of a ski I thought line? it was a shooting uh, range. Dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right. Here goes. All right. Oh. Is this the tree that where someone was hiding behind? Shot a bag. Congrats. How long did it take you to set these up? Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Is that a BB gun? So, girl. Probably. Oh shoot. This one. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. It wasn't that close. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot the poor little squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. What's going on? This butterfly effect stuff is making me nervous. Oh, I'm Chris now. Cool. What's this? Oh, Clue found. Goodness. Wanted poster. Nice. Milgram Victor. People get a visit from American Less Oak known Warner. black like wood pines. So. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. It's wanted for arson. Hmm. Arson, you say. And various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Solve the mystery of Until Dawn. Know how it keeps it all really? This game's getting crazy. There's a lot more to this game than I thought. I think I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes though. Oh, what? Is this gonna be open now? Yeah. You already knew it was locked. Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Well, you need people sometimes want shelter. After you. Oh, Ooh, gotcha. a snowboard. Yeah, man. Hmm. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. 
I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? I don't know. It's a big mountain. For a healthy body and mind. Okay, what I'm done looking at this. Place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Ooh. Huh? What the heck? It's like a bunch of cameras. One looking at like a bathtub or something. Any more I can get from that? Kind of afraid to keep watching it. Well, you want to talk, Sam, while we wait? Finally, you coming? Yeah, well. I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Shouldn't you lock the door? No. Of course not. I'm just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh. What? Huh? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. Of course it's not. Josh seems really <laughs> pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. No problem, bro. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Wow, what a story. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Wow. Boom. My mind is blown. Not really, though. Whatever happens, happens. Jess. Mike's new girlfriend. Trusting, irreverent, and confident. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh boy. I can't wait to meet these new people. Hey, new peeps. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Why are you freaking out over nothing? Oh I my gosh. Honest. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm nice. just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own right. personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Go ahead. Get that back. 
Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, nostrils? Yeah, I, I try not to do that, as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. <laughs> Heck no. You'll figure it out eventually. You guys are the biggest jerks. All probably. Right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. To get all the people in this area are jerks, I think. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like, Sam? whatever. <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Then go ahead. Didn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Mike Sex. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. Man, so many names. How am I gonna remember all this? <laughs> no. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Apparently I'm your bellboy. From the looks of things. All right. I don't know how I got suckered into this. We're almost there. I guess I'm just a nice guy. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Can't wait to drop off your bags. I mean, what do you think? Jesus! <laughs> Emily's ex. So, I'm Emily's boyfriend. This is Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless all right. fun. Alright, you can Love be bag boys. boy now. Spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Um. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out How come out I think now? we're not good? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. Oh crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All the bags. Um, For real? Why? I need to go find Sam. Why? Okay. Sorry, I just I really need to go find. You're her. not I totally sorry. I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's can't important. you just text her? Matt, please. Oh my gosh. Fine, whatever, girl stuff. All right. Fine. You're lucky so I'm such a I nice guy. Pack horse at the rest of the way, but you owe me one. Excuse me. Well, the more even at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> sweetie, what? You're so full of it. Have to drag your bowling ball bags all the way up to the house. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, and forthright. So, you're Chris's stalker. <laughs> Where is he? Oh my gosh, he's oh, talking to hello. a girl. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. 
They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Nice one, Matt. Uh, that didn't mean to scare Just you. That was awesome. <laughs> didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, that I'm was really good. Sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... let me check it out. No. Um, uh, it's busted. I don't know. Encourage. Sure, have a look, man. Um, whatever. Sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. I guess. It's not. It's huh. not really what I would have said in the situation. She made me carry her bags for nothing. What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Oh. Uh, well, shucks. Actually, I'm kind of happy with that choice. <laughs> Matt deserves better. Matt's a good man. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to so do my nails again. I'm gonna check my phone right now. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to There's take a me There's snowball right there. Grab the snowball. Retaliate. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh! Oh, <laughs> right in the face. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Too easy. Oh! <laughs> hey! He's getting owned. <laughs> Hello, come on. Hey, Mike. <laughs> He's getting owned so bad. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Nah, I don't want to hit the bird. I know it's gonna fly away and he's gonna come out. There we go. Whoa! Right. Well, it's good to know that nothing is also a choice. Oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. Gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. I think you got owned, <laughs> I dude. No, so if I did. All right, all right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Really? Why'd you have to make it dirty? Smash him with a snowball. Ah! Bam. <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. Really? I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Who's on the card now? Oh, great. It's Dr. Creeper. Hello again. Hello again, Dr. Creeper. And how are we feeling? Creeped out by you. I felt that we 
made some good progress in the last session. Okay. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. Why? This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. You. Now pick up that book, <laughs> turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Women worry me. <laughs> um, planes don't really scare me. Crowds probably scare me more. Fear heights or drowning? Heights, definitely. Oh my gosh. I'm getting vertigo just from that picture. Snakes or rats? Snakes. What was that about, Doc? Guns or knives? Both are kind of scary. Uh, I guess knives. Why does snake show up again? Eh, roaches. Why? What are you doing? Why do you write something down every time I pick the snake? Clowns? That clown is pretty creepy. If I saw that, I'd be freaking out. <laughs> yeah, gore? What the heck? Are crows? Yuck! Gore! <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. You're a freaking... Jumping nose. Are you just enjoying yourself here? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this. Oh, experience. you're saying I'm taking too long now? Ugh. Spiders or snakes? Spiders. Ugh, needles. <laughs> Clown or zombies? Oh my gosh. Needles or dogs? Needles or storms? <laughs> Definitely needles. This is very interesting. Why? Thank Why wouldn't you be afraid of needles? So diligent. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> you, what are you up to? Uh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but. Promise, we'll talk again very soon.